Hey guys, Asian Guy and Crowd here, back again with all weapons pack a bunch. And um, starting off with the submachine guns, MP5 becomes an MP115 collider. It only gets an extended mag with uh, 200 backup and 40 in a clip. It does get increased power like every other submachine gun does and every other pack a punch weapon. It's a good submachine and I gotta say I like it. But what sometimes ends up happening is that I run out of ammo way too quickly because the fire rate is, and the recoil is not all that great. And um, that's about it for this gun. Now, next is a gun everyone loves to hate. It's the AK 74U, it becomes the AK 74FU2. It gets 280 backup forward in a clip, and it gets a precision red dot sight with uh, the reticle can change. This is personally my favorite because it has nearly no recoil and uh, high damage, high uh, maximum ammo, and you can buy it right off the wall. It's convenient, and if you're going to pick a submachine gun, I would highly recommend you pick this one over the rest of all the submachine guns. Um, Alright, let's move on to the PM63. When pack a punch, it becomes Tokyo and Rose. They become dual wielded with uh, a slightly bigger mag with 25 instead of 20 and 225 in the backup. It uh, these are all not not all that great. I have to get really close to the zombies to actually do some damage to the zombies, and uh, ammo just goes by way too quickly. If you're gonna pack a punch your submachine gun and you're trying to cripple yourself, trying to give yourself a challenge, try these. Otherwise, they, there is no good thing that can come from Tokyo and Rose. Um, not that I've ever experienced, at least. Maybe with insta kill, but then again, anything is good with insta kill. Uh, MPL is next. It becomes an MPL LF with 200 backup and 4 in a clip. It gets a precision red dot sight and an extended magazine, just like every other submachine gun. Now, this is kind of like the AK 74U, as in where it has the same power, but, oh, nearly the same power, not the same power. But what happens is that it has a little less backup ammo. And um, it goes by a little bit faster, so I would not always recommend it. Now, this is one of my, my good ones. It's the Afterburner. It's the MP40 pack a punch. It's only in Kino their tone, you can find it, uh, and the other maps, but I'm only talking about five and this map. Uh, overall, it's good. It only gets an extended mag. Um, I mean, I would definitely recommend this one because it's got a high power and low fire rate. So it's a good, it's a good uh, submachine gun to have. And lastly, but not least, the Spectre, it becomes a Phantom, with 225 backup and 45. This one actually gets a Reflex Sight and Extended Mag. That's about it for the submachine guns. This is no special. I, I say it runs out of ammo way too quickly for me. But it's, they're all submachine guns, so they're all supposed to do that. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate, comment. Uh, I will be doing the um, snipers, and then it's going to be the special weapons. Alright? Thank you for watching.